international flavor in the heart of Myanmar. Yangon's Shui Sa Bui, or Golden Table Restaurant and Cooking School, puts its trainee chefs and waiters through their paces. Over nine months, the Burmese youngsters will learn the rudiments of French-based cuisine, and they're already facing some cultural surprises. People in Myanmar eat their beef well done, but the French eat it raw. That's how foreigners like it. For me, that's really strange. The trainees on the free course are all from underprivileged backgrounds. They've committed to staying in Myanmar, which has seen many young people seek work abroad. The aim? To help develop the country's hotel and catering industries. After decades of military rule, sweeping reforms mean foreigners are now rushing to Yangon. There are lots of hotels and restaurants being built, so it's true that the hospitality industry is really on the up here today. This is the French chef in charge of the kitchen. He says there's big potential in Myanmar for culinary entrepreneurs. There are fresh ingredients, very fresh, local ingredients. If you go to the market early at 6 in the morning, the fish are still alive, still moving, and young people here are very motivated. The weather is great here. There are beautiful trees, pretty place to set up restaurants. On the menu today, gazpacho soup with pineapple and carrot, butterfish served with olive polenta and white wine sauce, and crepes with fruit and cream. The $10 two-course lunch menu seems to get the thumbs up. Aside from helping the country's development, the food is excellent, and we expats are really very happy to have this here. Win Mu hopes to open her own restaurant one day, fusing Western and Burmese dishes. An ideal recipe, perhaps, to match Myanmar's growing interaction with the outside world.